guys, how's it going? Um, I want to apologize, it took me so long to finish this video up, the second part of um, how to wire up a uh, XLR combo jack. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do my best to show you how I hook these up on the wall side, on the snake side. So, I've already gone ahead and I've, uh, I've prepped my snake end. Um, this is uh, one of the channels here, um, basically stripped tinned and um, I just <coughs> insulated the uh, the um, c the ground here um, anyways I'm getting ready to um, we've got to basically patch over three of these cables coming out of the back of the combo jack um, and if you look each one of these posts I've just put some insulators over the posts here. Each one of these posts has labels, so you'll see that uh, you have the tip, you have the ring, and you've got the sleeve right here. Um, so what we've got to do is we've actually got to jump these cables over to our XLR and then get both cables connected into the XLR side of the posts, which you'll see um, we've got one which is your um, your ground um, you've got two is your hot and three is your cold so anyways uh, I'm just gonna show you how I do it it's a little bit difficult um, one little tip that I can give you is that if you make sure that when you prep these jumpers coming out coming out of the back of the uh, the combo jack to make sure that you have plenty to work with here it doesn't need to be super short I'm actually a little on the short side but um, you know it can be a little longer because we're gonna put insulators on these ends once we get them joined together so first thing I'm gonna do here it's a little difficult I'll do my best um, just gonna connect these cables so um, the ground here is gonna go to <coughs> the sleeve um, see if I can do this and I may end up fast forwarding through this just to <laughs> make it easy on you guys but anyways I just kind of hold these guys really close together and heat them up let them cool all right now they're joined and then once uh once they're together we're just gonna slip an insulator right over the top of that that's just gonna hold those two together there the um, <clears throat> the hot on the snake side is going to go to the tip which is right here so same thing here um, <clears throat> it's really difficult I mean these these jumper cables are, are a little longer than the slack that I have in the snake so sometimes you have to kind of bend the cables around or convince them of what you're trying to do but get them together since they're tinned there's already going to be some solder there to to melt and to hold them together so they're not too bad once you find your rhythm might take you a couple tries <clears throat> um, I've got that and see, I, I could have really given myself some more to work with on the on the snake end here. I probably should have stripped this insulation back a little bit further. So if you want to make it easier on yourselves, that's another thing that you can do to make it less of a hassle for you. Yep, get those guys out of the way. And you don't want to choke up too far. You don't want to get too close to these wires that you're tinning because that heat transfers up the wires really really quickly so and you'll learn that on your own I'm sure so okay so we've got these these three wires prepped we've got the tip going to the hot we've got the ring going to the cold and the sleeve is the ground so now we've got to um, connect these bundles to the XLR post so um, up here to the what you see um, in front of us is one at the top left so that's gonna be um, our ground 
And here's my ground. Oops, sorry. This is my ground. Need to move that shielding back a little bit. There we go. And I want this to be easy to work with, so I'm just going to slip that under the other cables. And what I do, I'm not going to be able to get out of your, your way for this, but um, I basically heat the post up, which is already tinned. And once I see the solder go molten, I just push the the bundle right into the post and it holds pretty securely um, boy that's tough for you to see I know but it's it's there let's see if um, <laughs> take my word for it guys um, two is hot so let's go ahead and and get that put in and then you should be able to see three a little bit better looks like I lost a boot yes I did there's my insulator And same thing, I'm going to heat up the cup. And once it melts. There we go. I think. Nope, it didn't take. This is why you, you really want to give yourself a little extra slack when you're um, cutting back the insulation because it gets pretty gets pretty tight in here and here's our last one our um, this is going to be three which is our cold so you can see I'm just kind of bending this bending this into place and this is this is three and this is ground um, in most systems you're not really going to use the ground unless you need to isolate it for some reason um, I don't do that but anyways so I've got this into place I'm going to heat up the post as soon as I see it go molten I'm gonna just throw my bundle right onto that post let it cool and BAM so, I know this is a really crappy video, and you probably couldn't see a whole lot, and I apologize, but you can see the gist of what's going on. Um, basically, all you need to know is that your tip is going to go to hot, your ring is going to go to cold, and your sleeve is going to ground. So, um, you connect those jumpers that I just mentioned to the XLR side, the corresponding XLR side, or the, the balanced snake side, I should say, and then you just hook it up like a, a regular XLR on the back of your jack. So hopefully this helped you. Um, and if you have any questions uh, or I really confused you, let me know. I will try and get you out of it. Uh, anyways, happy soldering. I need to fix that. <laughs> Take care.